Do you have a fear of rejection or do you ever feel like you're misunderstood? Maybe you're going through this right now. Maybe you're experiencing it with family. Maybe you're experiencing it with friends. In this video, I want to talk to you about why you might be in the right place at the right time, even though it doesn't feel like it. And I'm going to give you 25 reasons in the form of 25 people who also experienced something similar to make my point. So let's jump into person number one. So Ben Franklin actually dropped out of elementary school. I didn't even know that before researching this video, it kind of blew my mind. Oprah, I'm sure you guys have heard of her situation before, but I don't know if you all realize she was pregnant at 14 and fired from her first job as a TV anchor. Um, number three, Steve Jobs. This one's super famous, right? So he's fired in 1985 from the company he founds, Apple. Um, Michael Bloomberg. I didn't know this one before reading it, which was pretty cool because I've been in his office before. But Michael Bloomberg was let go when he was working as a partner for Solomon Brothers and as in the investment bank there. Um, pretty interesting. This one should blow your mind because it literally made mine sweat. Okay. Number five, Walt Disney was fired from the Kansas City Star because the editor felt that he, quote, lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Whoa. Like, we're, we're in five already. You should be like, okay, I, I don't have it so bad. Like, if they're saying this about these people, like, I can make it. Um, jumping into number six. This is one of my favorites. If you ever look at Colin or, Colin, Mr. Sanders, uh, Mr. KFC, you'll know that he, he had success much later in life. And so um, I always think his is really inspiring and really interesting as someone that's not in their 20s or teens. And so he was rejected by over a thousand restaurants before establishing KFC, a thousand. Like that is a lot of picking yourself back up. Um, Madonna, this one, <laughs> this one's like not a surprise, but it was also kind of a surprise. Uh, it's hilarious to me. Madonna got fired from a Dunkin' Donuts for squirting jelly all over a customer. Yeah, that's real. Like, re like how relatable is that? For me, I worked at a donut shop and like, <laughs> if you've ever used those machines to fill a donut, you can understand that this could be possible. Um, although just in, like picturing this in my head, Madonna in New York City getting fired from a Dunkin' Donuts for getting jelly all over, squirting jelly all over a customer. Uh, I, I laughed out loud re like researching that one. Coco Chanel, she was rejected multiple times. Well, actually, I don't even know like Coco Chanel if it's he or she or whatever. It just shows you my fashion sense. But rejected multiple times for apprenticeships, um, for multiple apprenticeships and struggled to secure funding for her early ventures. Um, this one was interesting. Number nine, Lady Gaga dropped, was dropped from her first major label after 90 days. Um, that's kind of crazy. She gets a major label and then three months in is dropped from them. So I could see how that would be extremely discouraging. Henry Ford, I'm, I'm just going to have a one liner for Henry, but I mean, he was so discounted. He was thought as someone with, um, severe, like mental handicaps and all this other stuff. In fact, there's quite a few famous quotes when he was um, he was in a courtroom setting. He was being interrogated about all these questions. And they were trying to prove that he was not fit to run his company uh, mentally. And so he's just such an interesting character in terms of what he was able to accomplish, um, despite the fact that so many people thought that he, he had all kinds of cognitive issues. And he wasn't super well-spoken or whatever, but he clearly was able to do a lot. So his first... Henry Ford's first two automotive companies failed. And if you actually look into the research on him, um, I forget there was an association that owned the patent on the automobile or something to that extent. And they were prohibiting him from selling, I believe the Model T or the Model A, whatever the first one was. And um, it was like, so close to him almost not succeeding. And in fact, he kept producing the vehicle even though there was a stop sale order from him to not produce it because he didn't have the patent while they were awaiting the verdict uh, of like the trial that he was undergoing with this association of the automobile. So he is super interesting. That's number 10. 11, Marilyn Monroe was told by modeling agencies that she would be better off becoming a secretary. Hard to, <laughs> hard to imagine. Um, Warren Buffett, this one's not super surprising, but he lost a substantial amount of money early on in his career. Um, I think that's normal with anyone getting started, right? Like your first couple videos, they're not going to have a lot of views. This, you know, your first startup's probably going to fail. 
um, you don't usually hit the bullseye the first time. So he lost a ton of money in his first couple uh, uh, investments. Thomas Edison, this is another one. This like is in the same level of the Madonna one for me. Thomas Edison starts his company only after being fired and he was fired for spill. He was playing with a battery, a lead acid battery. And he's, I guess, above his boss in this building. And somehow the battery, something goes wrong, acid's leaking out of the battery. It leaks down onto the floorboards, through the floorboards, onto his boss's desk. Subsequently, his boss was not very happy and he was fired, I believe, the next day. Um, number 14, Stephen King's first novel, which was Carrie. Uh, Carrie was rejected around from around 30 different publishers, uh, which is pretty wild. Um, number 15, Einstein. Einstein was expelled from his first school and he was turned down by many, many major universities. Not surprising, you guys have heard that one before, I'm sure. Um, I'm not a super sports person, and so number 16 of Babe Ruth was pretty interesting for me, but it also makes sense. Babe Ruth once held the record for the highest number of strikeouts. And he went on to have some quote along the lines of, every strikeout brings me closer to my next home run. Uh, I think that's a really empowering mind or mindset or frame to be viewing your failures through. Abraham Lincoln. Um, number 17, Abe Lincoln failed multiple businesses, failed multiple political campaigns. And in fact, he went into the military as a captain. And when he returned, he returned as a private. So. He wasn't, I don't know if he was exactly demoted, but he went as, as one thing and he came back as a lower level. And so um, I found that quite interesting. Amelia Earhart struggled to make a living as a pilot. And so she had to work many, many, many um, odd jobs to basically support herself through that time. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh, he only sold one painting during his lifetime. He died penniless in 1890. Like what? Like his whole lifetime. Like, like when I think that's number 19 and I'm like, we have six more. And I'm like, he died penniless and sold one painting. Like if that doesn't make you feel like you're going in the right direction or that you should have <laughs> some gratitude and being misunderstood because you still have enough life left to do something meaningful. Uh, that for me is really empowering. Just thinking about the frame and the view in which he's Van Gogh's looked at today. I mean, his art is like priceless. And it's like, he didn't even get to enjoy that in his lifetime. And you probably still have so much more time and so, so many more things that you can do between now and whenever you expire. And so that particular one for me is so empowering. Next one is the same, same vein, number 20. Monet achieved recognition as an incredible painter only after his death. Um, kind of sad, but also kind of empowering for you and I. Spielberg, I heard of this one this year, um, and then when I was researching this, I recalled it, and it was, he was rejected from the University of Southern California um, multiple times before he was finally accepted, and I forget how the, the story ultimately goes, but I think he snuck onto a set, and he got caught, and he got in trouble, and then he, like, somehow he made friends with people, and he, he got to stay, but he had a pretty rough starting out um, getting accepted into that community. Vera Wang, this one I had never heard of before. She failed to make the U.S. Olympic team as a figure skater before becoming the iconic designer. Um, whoa, like talk about a pivot. But like once, I'll talk about this at the end. I want to talk about purpose at the end. That was number two, Vera Wang. Number 23, uh, Roger Bannister. So Roger Bannister was the, was the title holder for the first four minute mile. And he was told that running the four minute mile in 1929 was physically impossible. Doctors warned him that his heart would explode. Um, pretty insane. The four minute mile is quoted a lot in terms of motivation and what's possible and the, the, the mind body connection. And so I thought that was a really powerful one to include. The Wright brothers were told just like Roger Bannister that it would be impossible to create a flying machine. Uh, all the experts of the day said it can't be done. It's not possible. And here we are. Uh, probably a commercial flight going over me right now. Um, and last one, number 25, Michael Jordan is cut from his high school basketball team. Working backwards, I'll start with the last one, Michael Jordan. These things that happen, again, I talk in another video about things happen for you, not to you. If you're Michael Jordan, you get cut from that team and that's happening for you, you now have some motivation. You now have a reason 
to work really hard and practice really long hours at being the best at your thing. Um, and the other one about Vera Wang, I like hers a lot because she has a major pivot, right? Going from, you know, figure skating in the Olympics to designing, you know, designer clothes. It's a huge jump. But the thing is, once you get your, you, you get your train on the right track towards your purpose, nothing and no one can stop you from achieving that thing. Um, I get that it can be hard to, to, to listen and to find what your purpose is, and I'm sure it adapts and changes over the course of your life. Um, but once you find that thing and you're hooked into it and you're locked into it and you're focused on it, I don't think anything can get in your way except for you and your own self-limiting beliefs, your own doubts. And so I put these 25 people together to help you and I understand that if you're being misunderstood, if you're being discounted, if you're being doubted, um, count it as all joy because you're probably on the right path. You might even be on the right track. You might even be in the right train. You just got to keep going. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.